Hello? Hey! Who is this? It's me! Your cousin! Kirk! Hey, buddy, what's up? Well, I'm standing outside of your pocket and you never guess what. What? Blackburn Rovers have only gone and signed a defender. Get the f*** out of here. I'm dead serious. Really? So, what's this kid's name? That's right folks, back once again with another video, this time taking a look at some defensive reinforcements folks. That's right, Rovers have made a sign and we'll talk about it in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button to keep your bang up to date. Real things, like the Rovers related, championship related, woo football related, we've got all here. Another one, Ruskies. Cook's gone, he's out of here. Yeah. So folks, yep. That's stinking, flipping won't leave me. Um, yes, it's finally been happening, boys and girls. We have made some defensive additions. Uh, when I say additions, I just mean the one for now, but that could change over the next few days. Well, fingers crossed. Um, but anyway, let's talk about him. His name is Tosin Adarabiayo, or something like that. In fact, over on his Twitter, uh, you can, he has a breakdown of his name, and we'll, well, we'll take a closer look at that in a second, once I get rid of all this ads, but let's take a look at what kind of player we've got in to the club. Um, it is, yeah, a young centre-back slash right-back. That's what, according to uh, uh, transfermark.com, you can play anywhere at the back uh, in the centre of defence. And then also, double at right-back. So it's a, a two-for-one, boys. Two-for-one. His value's uh, gone up and up and up over the past couple of seasons. Obviously, Manchester City uh, prospects come through their academy. Um... I think he's got a future ahead of him at the top level, whether it's for Manchester City or uh, for somebody else. But I think he's going to go uh, going to go quite far. He actually spent last season on loan at West Brom, playing around about how many games did he play? 29 games in the Championship, uh, creating two assists along the way. So that's quite a fair bit of games. That's basically two-thirds of the season. Um, he also dabbled in the FA Cup, EFL Cup as well. And he also had one game in the playoffs. Now, West Brom, we've got we to gotta, we gotta take that into consideration. West Brom were in the mix last season with a bit of a hokey-pokey kind of season, up and down a little bit. Um, so uh, it's it's... I think it's a good addition. He's not going to walk straight into the team, um, but he's going to give people like Charlie Mulgrew, like Ryan Nyambe, a little bit of competition for those spots, and that's what we need. Um, and I think Rovers have done very well uh, uh, productive business in the championship, uh, in, the, in the transfer window so far. Attacking, attacking side. Defensively, I'm still on the fence. I still, I still think we need one more addition, preferably at uh, centre-back, out and out. Then I think we'll have a, a, a good shot. At it. And also, I think we need another goalkeeper. Not saying to, to, to come in and take over the reins at number one, but somebody, uh, a Wes Fotheringham. Uh, I would even take a Simon Eastwood right at this stage, a decent keeper, around about late 20s, early 30s, to kind of give uh, Walton a bit of a uh, bit bit of food for thought um, to, to say that, you know what, you're, it's not guaranteed that you're going to be number one because we need competition. Um, I think left back has been strengthened uh, by the resurgence of Sam Hart. Obviously, he came in from Liverpool, I believe. Um, we snapped him up on a permanent deal. We went out on loan a couple of, couple of teams last season, I think. Uh, and in pre-season, he actually made uh, uh, steady progress and was uh, was knocking on the door for a start this Saturday. Unfortunately, he did pick up an injury and that pushed has ruled him out for this weekend's match. Uh, then also, we've got Bell Williams to play at left back and also so uh, Stuart Downing is also rumoured he could also dabble at left back. But as for right back, it looks like it is Nyambe number one. Bennett could also go in there. Uh, Rankin Costello has been rumoured he could also dabble in there. Lewis Travis can also go in there. But realistically, we want an actual defender. And this guy ticks those boxes. He can come in at right back. But he could also knock on the doors for Lenehan, Williams, Mulgrew at centre back. Strength, competition. And, uh, you know, that's what we need. And he did okay. I, I know we're going to have a look at some of the, the comments and thoughts from uh, both Rovers fans, City fans, West Brom fans about uh, about this youngster who is only 21 years old. 1.95 metres tall. He's a gargantuan. Gigantor uh, at the back. So that's good. Um, yeah, so we, so we went on loan West Brom last season. Um, and now he is looking to kick on with Rovers. So here he is. This is his comment. Tosin Adamarabaya. We'll have a close look at how that's spelt and pronounced in a second. So he's looking forward to the new challenge ahead as I join Rovers for the coming season. There he is. All dust dressed up in the blue and white hearts. So that's taken a while for him to come over the line. Uh, California Rovers in there first and easy. Welcome to Ewood, Tosin. Uh, live by our motto. Arte Labor. By skill and hard work, especially the hard work. Be patient and battle hard. It'll be a tough getting into our team, but the fans will be right behind you. Good luck for joining a team of winners. Rovers buzzer in there as well. Becky says, welcome to the club. Um, 
Jen Bellamy, that's an official grace period. Although every have a, have every faith that this lad won't need prompting. Uh, and there it is, the pronunciation for your Tosin Adrabayo. There we go. We'll get there in the end. Uh, so good luck, uh, Tosin was from uh, or Tosin from Ian Cheeseman, um, Keen Breen Brian. <laughs> I can't, even, I can't even say the English of words. Uh, it says, good luck, bro. Uh, GX Blue says, good luck, thumbs up. There's something crazy going on in that man's pants. Uh, James Beatty, not the James Beatty, at Trev Morris says, welcome to Rovers. I'll tell you uh, There's some other unsavory comments in there, but hey, it's 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 all available on the web. It's all available. Massive welcome to Ewood Park, Tosin. This is a great club, and we are really on the way up under Tony Mowbray. Uh, I don't know who this is. Tony Mowbray AS. That's somebody I'm not keeping an eye on. Um, and that's from Ian Shaw. Who else we got? G Gary Doyling said, yes! With Will Foreign, he starts punching up some cereals. Um, he's so happy over the moon. I'm happy over the moon. Uh, Harrogate Blues uh, said, work hard, Tosin. Every step is a step nearer your dream. Not everyone achieves their dream at first. But when you're in the game, you're in the game. And he's with us. Uh, get ready, dude. City on the verge of entering the season. Week at centre back than when last season ended. Maybe you're calling. Maybe calling you back in September. Heck no, boys and girls. We need him. Hopefully, there's some sort of uh, clause in that car in the loan deal that uh, restricts him from going anywhere. Uh, Luke Bradley says, "I'm ready." Promotion with a bit of SpongeBob SquarePants action. Uh, ben Ten said, uh, "Best of luck, dude." So they're all here. A lot of positive comments in there, and I'm sure there's probably some shitty ones. Um, but that's on his official. Um, on his official uh, Doofenshmirtz. So um, now he's a rover. We can head over there and uh, and follow that bad boy. So we're gonna we're gonna smash that follow and we keep our tops of this fella. So what's going on on the rovers uh, side of things? Obviously they got a video, so we'll watch that right here right now. Hopefully you can hear it. Let's go. Thirty seconds. I can't hear it. You can't hear it. We'll do that again, folks. We'll do that again from the tip top. It's been over a week now since the talks have been going on. I'm delighted to be here. And when I knew the interest was there, I did think about the games that we played against the club last season. And I thought, yeah, it's definitely a good club to come to. I'm definitely in that stage of my career where I, can, where I have to be playing every week and showing, what, showing everyone what I can do. The spell to Tony Morgan, obviously, his goal is to get get this club into the playoffs this season um, so hopefully get as close to that playoff spot as possible you've got it Tosin that's right playoff bound that is us hopefully fingers crossed I still think we are really like I said defender goalkeeper sorry, short uh, for competition wise there I am it's been 84 years since this deal was, was announced uh, a couple other people um well yeah so a lot of over the top celebrations but not over the top I think they're spot on uh, yeah he's toasting himself off Cheeky. He's got a bit of a red spot right in the middle. I wonder what's going on there, hey? Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah, solid player. Everyone, every, all the Rovers official Twitter freakazoids like me are over the moon for this one. Um, it, yeah, I think some West Broms or, or, or some maybe some anti anti Tosin fans are a bit putting some uh, uh, not, not nice comments about it. But to be honest with you... You know, we, we, we lost Paul Downing. Uh, he was released, I think, to, to go to Portsmouth. Rodwell, I think, has also been binned off. So we needed cover. This guy comes in. He's young. He was in the mix. Uh, it was, up, you know, obviously West Brom challenged well. And you, you don't play 29 games uh, for a, a playoff chase inside. And I think West Brom were kind of a, kind of a, they lacked a little bit uh, overall. But uh, ultimately, he's in there, 30 games pretty much. Um, so he must be decent. Um, to, to get in that mix and I think it's it's top 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 draw for us I think uh, obviously um, he's going to be have a little struggle to get in the first team and that is going to provide competition going to give incentive you know for Nyambe and, and Mulgrew and that to, to step up their game and, uh, and, and and you know with the fact that they they, have this, they know this guy's hot on the heels uh, for any blips uh, and this opening game against Charlton is no uh, it's not an easy game so it's going to be it's going to be a test uh, for us and yeah, we, we, we are linked with a couple of other uh, additions defensively. So hopefully they will come through the door as well. But ultimately, that's that's pretty much it. So job done over the line. We do have ourselves a new defender. What has that done for my optimism for the for the club? I think it's good. It's another you know a couple spots up the ladder. I did predict in my prediction video 10th for our overs. Um, and I still think if we can get another centre back on top of Toast in here and another experienced goalkeeper that we could push uh, possibly 8th. And if you're in 8th, 
come March or something like that, well, even if you come come April uh, and you're within within touching distance, you have a shot at those top six spots. Um, and that is the goal from Mowbray. That's the goal from us, I'm sure. Obviously, if we could do anything better than that, that'd be tremendous. But yeah, give me your thoughts and opinions about the deal. Tosin has arrived. Let's get excited, boys. Let's get a couple more players in uh, before the window slams shut. It's about a week's time, so we've got about seven days give or take, uh, to, to complete any more business. Uh, but yeah, job done. Moving on. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. If you are new, smash the subscribe. Uh, if you want to see Kirk back in action, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. You know who Kirk is modeled off of? He's modeled off of this fella. That's right. Duke Kaboom, man. Duke Kaboom. Canadian, Canada's best stunt man, boys and girls. Anyway, I'm going to get out of it. Thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. All things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>